Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I am going to get right into this video. No b-roll, no fancy footage. I am just going to get right into it. Today is a huge, huge day here. We are finally painting the exterior of the house. As most of you know, my husband and I bought this house just over a year ago and we have been working on the inside of it day and night every single day since we got the keys to the house. And the exterior has just kind of taken a back seat because we really wanted to focus on the interior first. So we got our windows installed uh, about two weeks ago now and since those were installed we got a hold of a painter and they were able to start right away and that's what this video is all about. It's just the complete exterior transformation of our 1968 Ranch Fixer Upper. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm not going to do a ton of voiceovers because there's not really a whole lot to say. I'm going to go over the paint color, who we chose to paint the house, what my experience was, but mostly I'm just going to play some good music and you guys can watch the transformation start to finish. So I hope you enjoy. Jumping from cliffs so high Trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down Part of purchasing an older home and renovating it, at least for me, was how can I maintain the integrity of this home but bring it into you know modern day? So I had been dreaming of paint colors for months and months and months until I just looked at it one day and I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. So we hired Jose here with Sanchez Painting. He and his friend Mario have been in the painting business for over 20 years and some of the jobs they have done are absolutely enormous and beautiful jobs um, we actually watched them paint our neighbor's house who just finished renovating theirs and we thought they did such a great job we knew they were the right guys for our project uh, john and i originally thought we were going to paint our house ourselves but after this experience i can't tell you how glad i am we decided to let leave this job to the professionals so anyway jose asks me on the first day all right what color are we painting the house and i said we're painting it black and he said, okay, what color are we painting the trim? And he said, and I said, we're painting it black. And he looked at me like, okay, are you sure? We're going to, your whole house is going to be black. I said, it's going to be black. I've got a vision for it. And I just know it's the right choice, you know? So I chose Cracked Pepper by Bayer as the body of the house. And then I chose Tricorn Black for all of the trim. So anything you see that's red, the pillars in front of the front windows and the back on the deck, that's all tricorn black. So they're they're similar, but when you see it in different lights, they're completely different. And it's just the perfect complement to one another and I'm so happy with it. So I'm going to stop talking, I'm gonna play some great music and I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the full transformation of the exterior of our home. I'll pop on here and there as I see fit, but overall, I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy this experience. I am going to leave Jose and Mario's contact information in the description box. If you live in the Denver metro or surrounding area, I could not recommend them enough for all of your painting needs. Locked up in your dome. You know I fight for you. What do I Every time you call my name. This job took Mario and Jose three days to do. It was like two and a half days or so, but um, they did two full coats on the entire house and then the brick took about three coats. He had to prime it first and then two coats of paint. Um, they worked so well together. Jose's main job was to do the 
the bulk of the painting while um, Mario went through and did a lot of the tedious work like scraping and prepping the surface of our home. Uh, it was really cool to watch them and I sat outside all day, every day while they were there and they were so kind to have a spectator and filming and watching them every step of the way. Is this really healthy? While you guys have a good view of the front porch, I did kind of want to go over my plans for our, a future project. We do plan on wrapping these pillars with cedar to just beef them up a little bit, give them a more stronger look. I'm going to be doing a really cool um, treatment to the concrete that's underneath the, the canvas there. Uh, we're getting a new door and I'm just doing a full total porch makeover and I'm hoping to get that done in the next three weeks So make sure you guys are subscribed and your notifications are on so you can watch the porch transform into more of a cozy personalized space
there were multiple times um, during the three days that these guys were here painting where Jose asked if I was happy with the work so far. And I told him that I was thrilled. Like I, I, I was in thoroughly enjoying watching every single step of the way and every surface being covered with this black paint. And I asked him if he had ever painted a full house black before. And he said, no, this is the first time. Um, and maybe that's why he wanted to make sure I was happy with it because it was such a bold choice and the contrast was so slight. Um, but I told him I wanted a bold choice. I wanted my house that sits on the corner of an intersection to be seen and to be, I didn't want the colors to be expected. I wanted it to be a surprise um, every time somebody drove by it. And it, it very, very much is. And it just fits the lines of the house so well. It's like it was always supposed to be like this. So anyway, uh, what he told me was, if that makes your heart happy, if that is what is in your heart, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks when they see it. Um, but I've actually met three new neighbors since painting our house. It's like people are coming out of the woodwork to come by and compliment our color choice and what we've been doing to it. So that feels really good that it's being well received as well. I know most people would have kept the ceiling out here on the deck white to keep it open and bright, but I really was going for more of a moody, um, experience when being out here so I also wanted the ceiling painted the same color as the body of the house at some point John and I are gonna raise the ceiling up and do more of a vaulted um, cedar plank ceiling but I'm loving the moodiness when we're out here watching movies
The amount of detail work Mario was working on during this project was mind blowing. He scraped so much old worn paint off my house. It was crazy. I, I kept thinking, my gosh, if John had to do this, it would have taken him days to do what Mario did before he even was able to start painting. So I appreciated his eye and um, meticulous detail work so, so much because I know our paint job is going to last for years and years. This was the moment it all started coming together for me when he started taking all of the, the wrapping off of the windows and those beautiful black frames popped through the cracked pepper color and you could really see the contrast here on the deck. I just, my heart like exploded. I was so happy. You know, we see the inside and all of the hard work we've put into this house over the past year. We see it every day, but the outside was always just such a sore thumb for me. So like finally getting to this place where when we pull up to the house now, it's our house. I see my house, not the previous owners. So it just feels really, really good. And I could not be happier with our color choice.
When it came to choosing a door color, I knew I wanted something super vibrant and poppy and unexpected on the door, something to kind of pay respect to that mid-century time period. So it was between, between a tangerine color, a chartreuse green, and then this color, which is Refresh by HDTV for Sherwin-Williams, I believe I found it at Lowe's. And it's just this beautiful kind of sea foamy, minty blue green color. Um, I do really, really, really love it. Um, I like it more than the other two, but I think I could still go just a bit bolder, like a bit brighter. Um, we're going to live with it for a little while. Our new door won't be here for about probably five or six weeks. And I think once I get the new door for the house, which has like four windows in it, four lights, it'll change the, the look completely. So we're just going to live with it for a little while. I am very happy with the color, but I may change that as well. So stay tuned. I hope you all decide to hit that subscribe button and stick around while we continue working on the exterior of our house. We have so much more to do in regards to just personalizing the house and obviously doing a ton about the landscaping, but we look forward to taking you guys along for the ride. I'm going to leave you here with tons of befores and afters. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you give this video a like if you did and make sure you subscribe for more videos. We'll see you next time. Thank you.